Thank you, Alyssa. And we are following some uh, breaking news in Lehigh Acres, where deputies have made an arrest. We'll have more on that, but first we want to continue with this coverage of what's been going on with the Fort Myers Police Department because you might be asking, how did that video even come to your attention and who is this person who wants you to see it as well? That's right. We did find out that the person uh, distributing the video is O'Neill Kerr, well known to Fort Myers Police Captain Rodriguez. Fox Force Terrace Miles joining us live now from FMPD headquarters. And Terrace, what is the relationship uh, with Kerr and the department? Yeah, O'Neill Kerr does have a history with, of tension within the Fort Myers Police Department, including losing his job twice and a couple of uh, uh, law enforcement or law lawsuits against the uh, department as well. It started in March of 2011, when now former Fort Myers Police Officer O'Neill Kerr was arrested for domestic violence. Although charges were later dropped, Kerr was not reinstated. And then in 2012, he filed a discrimination lawsuit against the then chief of police, Doug Baker. I had a clean record. I've never been disciplined by the city of Fort Myers Police Department. He was reinstated later that year. And taxpayers had to pay him $18,000 in back pay and foot the bill for his arbitration. In 2013, Kerr filed a racism lawsuit against the Fort Myers Police Department. He claimed Baker and the investigator who handled Kerr's case are and were known by the city to harbor racial and national origin hostility and engage in discriminatory practices against minority personnel. Kerr was terminated as a detective in 2018. In December 2018, Kerr submitted a complaint against the Fort Myers Police Department and Captain Jay Rodriguez, then submitted this video accusing Captain Jay Rodriguez of performing a sex act with a prostitute using taxpayer money on February 8th. Paige Roche, who says she's a close friend of Rodriguez, was quick to defend him and these recent allegations. I'd like to give that person a little bit more credit for the service that they've given to this community over the number of years before we decide that, you know, his fate is sealed just based on the bits and pieces that have leaked out into the media over the last 24 or 48 hours. And we have reached out to O'Neill Kerr for a comment, but he has not gotten back to us yet. But it is an active investigation, so we will, if there is any more information, we will bring that to you as soon as we can. But for now, reporting in Fort Myers, I'm Terrace Miles, Fox 4, in your corner.